Today I'm going to be showing you guys three different ways on how to lace the Air Jordan 2. Throughout the video I'll be showing you in hand examples and on foot looks for each and every style. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! If you're new to this channel, I love going over sneakers, giving you guys in-depth reviews, breaking down the styles, cuts, and materials of all the sneakers. But another thing I love to do is give you tutorials like this as well. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. Now let's take it to style number one. So throughout the video, I'm gonna be using just the right foot for examples. And then when we do the on foot, you'll be able to see what it looks like with both of them laced up in that style. So for this first style, we're gonna call this the dead stock style. This is what the shoe looks like typically when it comes fresh out the box and you just purchased the sneaker. So basically it's gonna look just like this and then you're gonna have a dead stock knot right here. Some people like to pull it out and just let it sit right here or people will tuck it in behind the tongue and rock it like this. So I'll make sure I show you both styles here right now. After seeing those two different looks of the dead stock style, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Me personally, I don't really like to wear my shoes that way, but I see a lot of people do it, so I had to make sure I showed you in today's video. Now, taking it to the next style, this is definitely my style right here. What we're gonna do is take the laces out right here and undo the dead stock knot and then loosen it up the shoe. So we're gonna undo the first loop as well from the top end of the shoe and go all the way down. And then we're gonna let the laces hang right here. And then the next thing we're gonna do is loosen this up just a little bit down all the way to the bottom end of the shoe. Then we're gonna stick three fingers just like this on both sides and kind of tug on it just a little bit evenly, kind of giving you that little proportion throughout each side of the foot. And then now, as you can see, it's starting to slowly loosen up and then you can kind of snag it just like this. I always do the little three finger method like this. That way I'm evenly dispersing the laces throughout the foot when I'm trying to loosen it up because I know some people kind of do it one side and the other and then they're like, why is my laces all over the place? So that'll kind of give you that even look that you're looking for when you put it on foot. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is take these, push them through that second hole and kind of just let it hang maybe about a couple inches down right there on both sides. You're gonna have some extra slack right here and then you're gonna kinda just pull the laces just a little bit, creating a little bit more slack. And then we're gonna stick these on foot and this is called the loose vibe. I don't know if that's what it's really called but we're gonna call it the loose vibe. All right, let's see what the on foot looks like. So how do you like that style right there? Drop a comment down below and let me know. Me personally, I love honestly wearing most of my shoes in the loose style, so that's a typical go-to on damn near every single model of sneaker that I wear. But when it comes to the Jordan 2 and it being a high top and the laces being a little bit longer, I don't wanna have too much slack, yet not too loose, but I think it does its job. The shoe stays on foot. I know a lot of people worry about that issue. And one thing that I love about the Jordan 2, which is I know we're not doing an in-depth review or anything, but the tongue has an elastic band right here. It's a black band on the side of the tongue on both sides of the foot. So naturally that's gonna keep your foot locked in and you're not having to worry about the shoe coming off like other models where the tongue can flap all the way forward. This is virtually kind of impossible. It'll only kind of fold forward just midway through the tongue and then from there that's about far as you can get so that's one thing that i do love about the jordan 2 i know not too many people know about this model or have worn this model and especially with all the hype coming around the jordan 2 but again that's off topic let's just take it to the next style and that's going to be the bow tie so as you can see right here from the top down shot the shoes are basically kind of in that dead stock style, but they're loosened up right here. And what we're gonna do is tie a bow tie knot and then kind of just loosen the shoe just a little bit so the foot can actually slide in there. I know it's a little bit tight when it's like this, but then from there, we'll just create a little bit of slack. That way we can get our foot inside. And this is gonna be an option. A lot of people like to go from the second hole. You can do it from the top hole, but I think it's just like, you're literally about to go hoop in the shoe. So I feel like the second hole is a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more subtle. And I think that's something you should rock with. But again, it's all preference based. And I'll show you guys the other style in a second as well. So 
now that you've seen what that looks like on foot, let's show you guys the other bow tie style real quick. So what we're gonna do is undo this knot and then we're gonna take this whole section out. And I've seen actually a lot of people do this. So realistically, we need to take out the second section as well. And then as you can see, there's kind of a segment right here where there's the three holes and then you got your main laces that go on the top of the foot. So we're gonna loosen this up, give you some more slack. It's gonna be a pretty loose fit, honestly. It's just gonna have that bow tie kind of closing it all in bringing it all together and then from there you guys will kind of see what i'm talking about so with this you got two different options you can go underneath like this just inside of this and then create a bow like i said earlier you can go from the top middle or bottom and then you'll create a bow like this bang and then we'll loosen that up so i'll show you what that looks like and then the other way is going to be unlacing this yet again and we're going to go over top this time and when we go over top, it's gonna make the bow kind of sit a little bit more finished on the inside of this look. So you guys will see what I'm talking about in a split second right here. So we're going over the top and then we're gonna create this bow right here on the inside. It's gonna give you a similar look, but it's just a little bit different. And then we're gonna loosen it up and kind of create some slack again. And I'll show you guys what these two looks like on foot real quick. I'm gonna try to get this loosened up so you guys can see what I'm talking about in here. As you can see, this is what it's kind of gonna look like. So let's check out these next two looks on foot as well. that with seeing the different styles let me know which style you think is going to be most suitable for you down below in the comment section i would love to hear what you have to say and i always love making videos and tutorials like this when it comes to different jordan models as well i created a full playlist for you guys to check out the other models and different tutorials so make sure you check out that link down below in the description and i'll see you guys in another one Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If y'all made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Air Jordan 2 colorway of all time. For me, that's a tough one. I mean, I have to, uh, I don't know. I'll just let you guys do that deciding. And don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to a million subscribers and I know we're gonna be there very soon. Well, we need like 800,000 more, but it's okay. We're on the way. All right, y'all, I'm out.